What up guys, it's Caesar back with another NFT video. Today is Sunday, August 15th, and this is my second video I am recording for the day. If you wanna know why I'm going to be wearing the same shirt in like the next seven of my videos and why I have to kind of bulk record, be sure to go check out my previous video that I just made on the Alpha uh, Parallel Alpha uh, NFT collection. Super dope, you definitely wanna check that out. And I also do a bit of rambling at the beginning of that video, letting you guys know that I'll be out of town from about Monday to Wednesday. So I should still have at least one video up during that time because I'm bulk recording right now. So the next few videos I make might be more vlog-ish or you know a little bit outdated if I upload them two days after the I talk about the project or the project gains traction. So I apologize for that, but when I get back, you know I'll catch up instantly and I'll get you guys content on anything I'm in. I'm not really sure what I would call this video. This is more of like like a vlog too, but this is more informational, I think. Now, I just wanted to talk about some interesting things I saw on Gary Vee's Twitter. Now, last night I was up to like 3 a.m. through going through Discord and YouTube and Twitter, just looking for some NFT news and cool stuff. And then I started reading through Gary Vee's tweets because sometimes I forget to look and he tweets so much about NFTs and projects and everything. And for the last few days, he's really been pushing the idea that all the projects coming out now, you know, all the projects coming out post 2020, you know, the 2021 projects, this summer of NFTs we have going on, he talks about how there's so much more supply than demand, which I do agree. And it's like most of these projects, like he says, 98% of them will probably tank to absolutely nothing. But the ones that do go crazy will do, you know, phenomenal for their owners. It will be like investing in Amazon 20 years before, you know, like projects like the Board Ape Yacht Club and uh, Cool Cats. These collections will change, or well, they'll continue to change. They've already changed people's lives. These collections are going to continue to change people's lives. I believe that in the long term, they'll be huge. Besides the top three to five in the industry, it's really hard to tell which one of these projects will actually have longevity in the future. So what Gary's been talking about a lot on his Twitter recently, and I don't see getting too much attention, is he's been talking about finding projects from 2017, 2018, 2019, the early ancestors of the NFTs we see today. And he keeps mentioning how he wants to find these hidden gems and everything, and how all the ones now are going to be busted, but if you can find the next crypto punks or something from the past that could re-catch fire, you know, that's one of the ways to go. I decided to start making the NFT videos because I wanted to get involved in the NFT community and I really didn't think I had the means to create my own collection, which is false. So I'm actually making my own collection now. It's been a ton of work, but be sure to join the Discord in my description or the comments. Uh, the Super Starfish Discord starting to really heat up in there. I can't wait to share more information on the project, but for right now, it's really just a community for us to vibe out in. So without any rambling, go hop in there. I'll preview some art maybe right here. Oh, look at that starfish. Or maybe I forgot, maybe there's nothing over there. Now, besides not being able to make my own collection, I didn't think that I would be able to flip these because I didn't really have the money to invest in these. But after seeing things like the pudgy penguins where it's like I could have put in $60 and then made 9,000 paid for my whole tuition off like a three day flip. It's like, okay, I've been making the videos for two months. I think I have a pretty damn good understanding of what I'm talking about now. And it's like, I'm sick of it. I'm ready to, to sit, like, I'm not gonna invest in every project. I'll let you guys know if I do invest in anything, but. I'm really starting to do my due diligence now. Last night, I, I made a number in my head. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna invest this much money into NFTs and see where it takes me. But so anyways, last night as I was scrolling through Twitter, I was thinking about that. I was setting a budget for myself and I was thinking, you know, what NFT projects would I like to invest in? So when I saw the Gary Vee tweets, it was really interesting because it gave me a whole new perspective and I really thought about it. And even though I had glanced through his tweets and, and thought, you know, it was, yeah, yeah, projects in the past will be, you know, valuable. I really thought last night and it was like, you know, Gary Vee is about to run up racks on us. Like he knows what he's doing. And it's like, I'm sure there's a lot of other people out there that knows know what they're doing as well. But I realized that's a space we really have to get into because before it becomes overcrowded. Honestly, it's really bad timing because I'm about to go up north for four days and I'm gonna post this video for you guys. So, you know, I shouldn't be giving you guys the free sauce like this, but that's how much I love you guys. I hope this all works out for you. But like I said, this is not financial advice. All these projects would always tank. But after Gary Vee's tweets, realize that the people that are going to make the most money in the next six months are going to be people like Gary Vee that do research. And he found all these articles from like 2017 that no one's talking about, finding these old NFT collections that people had no clue what they were back in the day. There wasn't a lot of hype into them. Maybe there's a really small, uh, really tight knit community. You can hop into those projects that are super small, but really old. 10 years from now, those could absolutely skyrocket because like uh, there was one that he's investing in crypto strikers and i know that the price for them is absolutely skyrocketing now especially after he tweeted out their discord and you know articles about them and everything last night so they've been going absolutely crazy and this is like one of the first i think it's this first nft sports card collection and there's only 588 uh, there's people like messi this and that i guess gary b paid like 5 ETH or something for Messi or 30 ETH or something ridiculous. But yeah, sorry, honestly, I'm just gonna wrap it up. I know that this is, I've been rambling a lot in this video and I think I've been doing a pretty bad job at making my point here, but just this is all you need to know. Basically, 
do research, find projects like this. Obviously, like I said, be careful because some of them could obviously still crash. But if you can find the right project that has a little tight knit community around it from back in the day, uh, not many people are talking about it yet. If you can get in with, at a, rel a relatively low price and it was made 2017 to 2019, I would prefer 2017, but anything prior to 2020 really, I would say, is probably a great project to invest in. It's definitely a more long-term play, but I definitely think like Gary Vee said, you know, that's what he's looking for. I think smart investors will definitely be trending in that direction. Yeah, I think that's the best way to acquire wealth off NFTs right now. If you could get your hands on one of those early guys, like, like think of the CryptoPunks. Back in the day, some people were able to get CryptoPunks for free. They were literally given away for free. And now people t less than four years later are selling them for millions of dollars. So, and CryptoPunks aren't even the first anything. Like they're a very early collection, obviously, but they're, uh, they're not actually the first or this and that, whatever. So uh, if you can get into one of these early collections could absolutely be huge for you. And may, you know, I'm sure Gary Vee will catch on eventually. So it's basically us versus Gary and a, and a bunch of other smart people. Even though I really appreciate Gary, he's given everyone the free sauce and everything. But that inspires me. I love that this community is so nice. Like everyone I've talked to, everyone's so willing to share information and help on each other out and everything. It's just, it's so cool. I, I really love it. I've had a great time making these videos and everything. But with that being said, thank you. I hope you guys learned something from this video. I know it was kind of all over the place, but thank you so much for watching. Be sure to join the Discord in bio, guys. I'm telling you, it's really heating up down there. I'm not sure how involved I'll be for the next four or five days. I probably won't have any service, which is really going to suck, but uh, really building something cool over there, I think. Hold down the chat for me, guys. I really would love to, like, it would make me so happy to come back to, like, thousands of Discord messages or whatever. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.